Good morning to you. It's chapel time again. I'm excited. This week has been a wonderful week of studying God's Word and learning the story about the prodigal son. Like I said earlier, I love this story because it just shows me how much God loves us. And so, let's begin chapel. Are you ready? I want us to sing the song, Come Into My Heart Again, because I, that's what I want for everyone, that they would invite Jesus into their heart. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. true for you. I know it's true for me. Well, let's go ahead and get our Bibles so that we can look, talk more about our story for this week. Are you ready? Read your Bible. Pray it. talk about God's love, let's thank Him that He loves us so. His love is so precious. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you that you show us your love by just giving us good things, most of all giving us the Bible that we can learn more about you and how much you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're talking about good things. One of my good things around my house is out in the garden. Mr. Hullen went and picked these flowers this morning for me because, you know what, I want to use it in telling my story this morning because, you know, when we talk about God's love, we, we sometimes wonder, does God love us? You know, especially when we do things that are wrong, like maybe we might tell a little white lie, or maybe when we don't do things that our mom and dad tell us to do. You know, we, we question it when we do bad things, does God still love us? And some people might use a game to want to, to know the answer to that question, does God love us? And this game was, does he love me? Does he love me not? I can remember I used to play this game sometimes when I was little. And you take a flower, and what you do is you go, like if we were talking about does God love us, we might say, he loves me. He loves me not. 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 He loves me. I'm good. But now, is that a really good way to know if God loves us? I don't think so. You know, there's a story in the Bible that tells us just how much God loves us. And remember, it, the name of our story is the prodigal son. That means the son that came back. He was lost and he came back. Now, it, remember, it's in the book of Luke. Luke is in the New Testament. It's one of the four Gospels. And remember, we talked about that Jesus is the best storyteller. 
I can just imagine sitting around Jesus and hearing this story about the man that had the two sons and his younger son came up to him, the father one day and said, you know what, I'm tired of working around here. I want the money that you would give me after you die and I want to go out and I want to have some fun. All I do around here is work, work, work. Well, don't you know that made the father sad? But the father said, I think you're making a bad choice, but here is your money. And so the young son left. He went into the city. He spent all of his money on things he shouldn't have, on wild parties and different things. And it wasn't long until he ran out of money, remember? And so he had to find a job. So he went to the, a farmer and said, I need a job, I'm hungry. So the farmer did give him a job feeding the pigs. And so as he fed the pigs, he was so poor that even the food the pigs ate looked pretty good to him. And so he got to thinking, you know, my father's servants eat better than this. Maybe I need to go back and tell my father that I have sinned against him and against heaven. And maybe he would hire me as one of his servants so that I could at least eat. And so the young boy packed up his things and headed back toward home. And all the while, the father was watching, 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 waiting for the son to return. And one day, he saw the son coming down the road, and the father took off running and hugged him and kissed him. And the young son said, Father, I have sinned against you. I've done wrong. And would you please forgive me? And the father said, wait, wait. And he called to his servants, bring me a robe, the fancy robe. And, and the father took his ring off of his hand and put it on the son's hand, gave him shoes, and called and told the servants, cook the fattened calf the best one we have for our my son who was lost has come home. Well, about that time, if you remember, that older son came in and saw the celebration going on and he questioned his father, why? Why would you celebrate what he did was wrong and and why are you celebrating? I've worked for you all this time. I've been a good son. But remember what the father said? Oh, my son, you've been right here by me. I know that. I've been right here by you, but our lost, my lost son has come home. He realized that he's done wrong, and he's asked for forgiveness and I'm just so thankful that he's returned to me. That's a wonderful story for us to remember that no matter what we do, that if we are truly sorry for what we do, we can always come home, but always remember that God loves us no matter what we do. And he will forgive us. I love that story. So let us be thankful that God loves us so much. All right? I want to play one other song. Oh. I 
love to hear, I love to sing its words. It sounds like music in my ear, the sweetest name on earth. And oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, Let's decide to follow him. I love you. See you next week.